Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, um, but I do want to make one today. And it's been weighing heavy on my heart the last couple weeks, just looking and seeing what has been going on around the world and all of the things that are coming to fruition um, from God's word. Hold tight, guys. Please hold tight to this. I wanted to come on and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It is the foundation of everything. It is so important that you get saved now, right now. There's no time to waste. It's a free gift that God gave us through his son, through his son's blood, Jesus Christ. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Believe that Jesus died for your past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose three days later. He's not on that cross anymore. He has been for a very long time. He is with the father at his right hand right now. And he is this close to coming to get his bride. So please share the gospel. Pray that all souls come to the knowledge and saving grace of Jesus Christ. And pray for each other. Pray for each other. Love each other. Support each other. Any question you have is right here in God's word. It's all here for every person. Jesus died for every single human being on this planet. Every person is redeemable if they want to be. So important dates I want to go over is March 29th is the 12th month, 18th day. And it is the, what they've been talking about is the red heifer sacrifice. I agree with Lisa on Watch Woman 65. I think they've already done it. Um, they could, they can't, they could have already sacrificed the cow, um, the red heifer. And then is just going to show a video of it as like they're doing it live or something. And April 8th is the total eclipse across the United States. That is the 12th month, 28th day. It's during a new moon. April 10th will be Nissan 1. So the first day, first month. And I believe that this is also the anniversary of Lazarus' death. I've been reading John chapter 11 through 21. Uh, Lazarus Passover and Jesus dying on the cross and being raised from the tomb. So great information to read um, the Gospel of John. It's fantastic. April 14th this is the first month, fourth day. And I believe that was the day that Jesus called Lazarus from the grave. And then April 18th is the first month, eighth day. And this was the meal that Jesus had six days before Passover. And one thing I noticed in John 12, three through eight, which I didn't notice before is, I mean, I've read it obviously, but Jesus was anointed with oil by Mary on that day. April 20th, first month, 10th day of Nisan. That's when Jesus rode in the Eastern gate on a donkey. And that was known as Palm Sunday. It was the end of Lent and the beginning of Holy Week. And that is John 12, 13 through 50. April 24th, which is the first month, 14th day, that is the day they crucified Jesus Christ on the cross. And then April 27th is the first day, or I'm sorry, first month, 17th day of Nisan. And that is when Jesus rose from the tomb. So those are very important dates. The calendars are so messed up right now. You cannot 
have Easter, and I don't even like calling it that because that's pagan. It's pagan. The resurrection day can't happen before Passover because that's what Christians celebrate is Easter Sunday, is resurrection day. Well, <laughs> it can't be in March because Passover hasn't happened yet. Passover isn't until April. So you see where everything has just been totally messed with and confused. And we all know that Satan because God is not the author of confusion at all. So it's righteous anger. I have righteous anger about the calendars because it just, you know, it's one of those things that's just, it drives me crazy. But anyway. Um, those are the dates that are important and we're looking closely at. And again, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think that's the most important thing right now is to get people to Jesus and Jesus to people. Don't fight over things that don't matter. Don't argue over things that don't matter. Stick close to Jesus Christ because he's coming. Our Lord and Savior is going to come very, very, very soon. And I do recommend watching um, Chuck Missler. My husband and I are actually doing a study on Revelation. It's Chuck Missler's 24 video series, and we are actually on video eight uh, tonight. We take a video each night, and we watch it as a family, actually. And it is just packed full of awesome information. And it is stuff that I had no idea about. I did not realize, you, you know, all of God's word is important, right? You read it, you ask the, the Holy Spirit to guide you. And sometimes it takes another person that is got more experience or, or older or, or what have you to show you through the Holy Spirit, what you've missed. And I'm telling you, in the book of Revelation, chapter two and three, the seven letters to the seven churches are, I mean, it is just, it's mind blowing. The information you find out from Chuck Missler. Just how important those letters are. And I encourage everyone to look those videos up on YouTube and start a study before we rapture. I love each and every single one of you. I pray for each and every single one of you. God bless you all.